In today's episode, CNA newscaster Glenda Chong welcomes us to her mini farm at home. Plus, get fit and fab with Fiona Fussi and a hearty, beefy offering from Chef Bob. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Home Together. I'm Hosan Leong. The circuit breaker measures are going to be relaxed very soon, but it's important to remember to stay vigilant and be socially responsible. Be it in your workplace or when you have general social interactions with people as well, it's safe to embrace the new normal, which is masking up, temperature taking and practicing safe distancing. Okay, my guest for today has been on the news front line, giving us updates, interviews and analysis ever since the COVID-19 pandemic happened around the world. Let's say hello to Glenda Chong. Hello! <laughs> Hi, Hosan. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you for taking time out to, to having a little chat with us on Home Together. You've been involved in news for over two decades. You've covered all like earthquakes and tsunamis and political coups and elections. How does this COVID-19 pandemic compare? To be honest, there's no comparison. When you cover breaking news, it, there is the adrenaline. There is still this adrenaline when you're covering COVID-19. However, the huge difference is COVID-19 affects us, affects everyone. So usually when you cover an earthquake, it affects just that country yeah. or that area. A tsunami is that, so it's isolated. Whereas with COVID-19, it's worldwide. Everybody gets affected. It doesn't discriminate. So the reporting is very different. And to be honest, there's a... I, I do get scared. I, I do get scared when I sometimes report on um, certain stories about COVID-19. I mean, I guess you have to separate the, the, the person that is Glenda Chong and the news anchor just delivering the news. How do you do that, man? I think it's my job. And so I want to be as unbiased as possible. Sure. And that's how I try and separate the two. Uh, so on the one hand, there is the me at home and then there is the me at work. And I think most of us, we are able to do that when we're at work. So we are able to separate and divorce ourselves from certain situations. And I, that's how that's how I, I go about doing it for this instance. Let's, let's, let's look at the good things that have happened in the community. People have started to, to do charity work because, you know, there are a lot of the underprivileged or the, the more vulnerable in our community that need help. Now, you're involved with um, a charity called CARE to help with uh, yeah. persons with disabilities. W what is that charity yeah. about? It's a fund that is um, done, supported by Mediacorp as well. Mm. So you um, donate and we, we want donations and it helps um, the underprivileged. There are many, many families, but the ones that I'm highlighting will be Sharifa and Farid and her son. And so what we do is we help the mother. Uh, she has to look after her son and um, she lives with her parents. So it, to prevent her from getting burnout, so we have a fund, we do, you donate to the fund, and then the Care Enable Fund will help her and see what she needs. So that's how we go about helping people during mm. this COVID-19 situation. Yeah, because actually care, care it means uh, care, caring, uh, funds, assistance, uh, respite care as well for people who need that, and as well mm -hmm. as essential distribution. So I think that's a great way to, to be able to, in a way, give back to community, even though, I mean, because we're all in this together, right? It will be a new normal. We will experience, um, we will still have to ensure we have safe distancing. There will be certain protocols that never used to be in place. So this will be a new normal. And I think caring for other people, you know, the good that has come out of this is that, you know, you care for other people. And that's what I find sometimes very heartening. In times of crisis, we tend to come together and think of the less fortunate. So mm -hmm. that's something that I like that has happened um, out of the whole uh, COVID-19 situation. Um, but now, there's one, one very funny thing that I also read and... Uh... No, I'm not stalking you, okay? Just say I do research for these questions. <laughs> okay. But I'm getting worried now. No, yeah. it's the why are you nursing a chicken? Basically, Justin, my husband, yeah. Justin's friend, um, gave us chickens. Ah. So we have 10 chickens. And he gave them to us when they were, I think, about two months old. Okay. So we can't tell the gender. We can't tell a um, cockerel from a bullet. So we have to wait for them to grow older to turn into a rooster and a hen. And I have to say, they are really, really smelly. Oh no. <laughs> yes, they're very smelly. So you have to do a lot of things to mitigate the smell. So the, the smell comes from the waste, is it? Or, or, or what? Yes. Oh, I yes. see. Yes. Let's go see your chickens. Come on, chickens. Come oh, on, so Hi, cute. Chicken. Meredith, no. 
No, I'll give you a treat later. <laughs> no, Meredith cannot eat the chicken feed. <laughs> oh, um, it's not. These are treats. So what I oh, do treats. is um, I give them treats. Yeah, these are their treats. So it's a watermelon with yogurt, and the whole family eats it. Watermelon and yogurt, even Meredith. Oh. And the chickens love it. And you've even got a gym for the chickens at the back, I see. Is that a gym? The gym. No, no. That's not a gym. <laughs> this, this is um, this is where we're hoping that they're gonna uh, lay their eggs. <laughs> they're gonna come in. Thank you so much for showing us your chicken coop. Well sure. done. Yeah, all, all your little no problem. chickies. We got a little surprise for you. Can you tell us where and when and what was happening in this photo? Now look at your screen. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Circa 19. <laughs> Look at the oh, hair. Oh my god! Look at the hair. Look at the makeup. Okay, I think I think this was Miss Hawaiian Tropics. It was a competition that I did when I was modeling before I went to school. Before I went to uh, you know. So I went to uni, I took a gap year. So <laughs> I think this is um, Miss Hawaiian Tropics with Gerald Stephanie at that time. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Where did you get that picture? Yeah, and when I saw it, I was back. like, oh, yeah. must, I must really show this to you. Those were the days, Glenda. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, this is a competition that I did. And um, I... Um, let's see. I did win Hawaiian Tropics. And I went to uh, Florida Daytona to represent Singapore. And wow. I competed there. So fun, right? All those days of just traveling and going to see the world. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. If you think yeah. about it, I didn't have, uh, you know, mobile phone. So mm. my parents were, I have to say, my parents were very forward in the sense that they mm. allowed me to travel so far away mm. by myself to mm. actually attend uh, and uh, represent Singapore in that competition. <laughs> it was fun. It, yeah. was, it was really fun. It was an eye-opener. And uh, I managed to do all the fun crazy stuff before I went back to school. Well, I still yeah. remember all the covers of Go magazine where you were on it. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a long, that was a long time ago. I yeah. started very young. I have to yeah. say, I started very young. I started around 15, 16 years mm. old. I started modeling <laughs> around that time. So. It was a long time ago. Yes, definitely. Well, you still look amazing and you and, and keeping fit and all that. Do you, do you have time to exercise while, while while working and doing staying at home and all that? Yeah, I do. Oh, so okay. I do a lot of uh, jogging right now and I do it after work. Um, so I won't say when, but I do it after work. I have a, a routine. I'll do it every, every day. Uh, uh, not every day, but once, let me see, three times a week. Okay. Um, so on the weekend. On the weekday night, I do fast runs. Mm. And then on the weekends, I do longer runs. All right, thank you. Stay safe. And I hope to see you in person. Yes, I'm sure we will. And you too. Stay safe. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Glenda Chong sharing her chicken coop with us. Stay tuned because Fiona will get us fit. Here is a cardio-based workout that you can do at home. All you need is just a set of comfortable clothes. You don't need any mat, and you're going to get your heart rate up and a good sweat going. So come join me. Welcome back. Now, to be honest, we don't really need to go outdoors or have a very big space to stretch and exercise at home. It all boils down to wanting to start and adhering to a regular routine. And today, we have Fiona Fusi to help us with a high-intensity interval training. Heat! Are you guys ready to plunge in and have a good workout? Here we go! Hi, I'm Fiona Fusi. Here is a cardio-based workout that you can do at home. All you need is just a set of comfortable clothes. You don't need any mat, and you're gonna get your heart rate up and a good sweat going. So come join me. The first workout is jumping jacks. They're simple. You just have to put your arms and legs out like this. It's a good warm-up exercise. Get a good stretch in your legs and your shoulders while getting your heart rate up. If you can't jump, then you can go side to side, but still raise your arms all the way up. But whatever you do, whatever level you're at, don't stop moving, okay? I'm gonna do the jumping version. We're gonna do this for a little while longer as a nice warm up, so we can go to the next exercise. Yes. And time. 
for the next exercise. This one is my favorite, it's called skater. Come down and touch your right leg. Keep your other hand out and jump to the other side and then do the same thing on the other side. So alternate from your right leg, left hand to left leg, right hand. Now, if you can, pick up the pace, get a little jump in it and jump to the other side, all the while going low in your lunge and keeping your arm out. Engage your shoulders. Nice. Feel your butt, your glutes, your hamstrings working, your thighs, your quads, your whole body. Jump a little higher. Try to go a little deeper. Almost done. Time for our next one. A standing side crunch. Put your right arm out to touch your right knee. Crunch, try to get them to touch. Really feel your obliques, the side of your abs working. And also, when you balance on one leg, you're using your core to stabilize yourself. Crunch. Whew, this one is tough. Crunch. One more time and change to the other side. Left arm, left leg, crunch. It's tough to balance. Bring your left elbow to your left knee. But if you can't bring your knee and elbow to touch, don't worry. Just go as high as you can, even like this is fine. You should still feel the contraction in your obliques, in your abs working. Whew. I'm sweating, how about you? Okay, time for the next exercise. This one is also for cardio. It's gonna get your heart rate up. Come down into a squat like you're sitting on your invisible chair and fast feet. So just lightly lift your toes, lift your feet. You should be on the ball of your feet and keep moving. This is like a football drill. You know, they usually go side to side like this, but just try to do it as fast as you can. If you can't go as fast, you can try to go like this. A little bit slower, but don't stop moving. This is also working the same muscles. It's also working your hamstrings and your butt. But try to do it as fast as you can, like it's hot floor or hot lava. Feel this one in your legs. Oh, I cannot do that for so long. Oh. Almost there. And time. Last exercise, which is gonna be easier, I promise. It's a crawl out plank. So from standing, come down and crawl out with your hands into plank. Make sure your back is straight and crawl with your hands all the way back to your feet. That's one rep. And again, crawl out into plank until your back is straight. And if you're stronger and you wanna make this harder, you can come down into a push-up and crawl back out. This one, don't worry about speed. Just make sure your form is good, nice and strong. Crawl back out. If you still wanna do a push-up, but you can't do a proper one, you can go on your knees like this. All right, this is the last one, done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got a good sweat. Well done, see you next time. It's time for a quick break, and when we come back later, Chef Bob promises to keep your belly happy with a beefy dish. Welcome back! Food never fails to warm our hearts and lift our spirits. And in our cooking segment for today, Chef Bob has also prepared a meaty dish that promises to titillate even the most fastidious taste buds. Now, let Chef Bob show you how this can be done quick and easy. 
Hi guys, Chef Bob here again. To all our Muslim viewers, Selamat Hari Raya, Maaf Zahir Batin. And today, I'm going to show you a dish that is good to serve during Hari Raya, which is beef shop suka. Let's go. All right. First things first, we're going to roast these cumin seeds over the pan, dry roast it. Okay, this will exude the aroma from the cumin seeds itself. Okay, so you cannot find cumin seeds, you can use also the cumin powder, no problem. All right, be careful not to overburn. We just want to give it a good roast to wake up the flavor. Once you can smell the aroma exudes from the cumin seeds, you're gonna pound it and give it a good pound. also for you to exercise your muscle. Lah. <laughs> All right, so the cumin seeds will be like this. Just a coarsely pounded. Then we're going to chop some onions and garlic. Put it aside. And also red bell pepper. All right, you're going to saute the beef together with some clarified butter or ghee. A generous amount. And you take just half of the onion. Garlic. And saute the beef. Season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Once it's changed to brownish in colour, right? Straight away. Remove it. So because we don't want to overcook the beef, okay? We're going to use this later on. Just put it aside. All right, beautiful. With the same pan, a generous amount of ghee again, clarified butter. Okay, this time around, we're going to use all of this, all right? In. We're going to saute this until the onions are all caramelized and translucent. Beautiful. Okay, once you see the onions are all well caramelized, all right? You're going to put in the cumin powder just now, all right? Salt. Pepper and smoked paprika powder. Nice. We have over here canned tomatoes. All right. Before we put it in, give it a good squeeze. But be careful, uh, it's splatter. Uh. Okay, then in goes the pan. Nice. Okay. Make sure all the ingredients are mixed up good. Any tomatoes you see, just mash it up. And you're going to cook it at least for around five to eight minutes, okay? 
over medium heat for the tomato to be reduced. And constantly keep on stirring it. We don't want it to be burnt at the bottom. So after five to eight minutes of simmering, you can see it's all, all right, been reduced. And you can see the sauce is whew, very thick, right? In goes with sauteed beef together with all the juices. That's where all the flavor is, all right? And in. Beautiful. And then you just mix it around then crack the egg inside, okay? So, ready? Okay, so now you're going to turn the heat to medium-low, cover it up, until the egg white is fully cooked and the egg yolk is jiggly and we are ready to serve it. So once about five minutes or so. Ah, look at that. And coriander leaf. And some spring onion. There you have it a pan of beef sapsuka for you to enjoy during Hari Raya within your household with your family members. Selamat Hari Raya, Ba'azai Batin. I'm Chef Bob. I'll see you around. Safe Entry and Trace Together are two digital tools designed to help keep ourselves and our loved ones safe from COVID-19 by enabling earlier detection and isolation of infected cases. Now, the Trace Together app, which I had downloaded and activated, allows us to be notified earlier if we have been in close contact with a COVID-19 case. This simply means that we are able to take the necessary precautions earlier to protect ourselves and those around us. So do go ahead and download and remember to activate the app. I'm Hosan Leong and make sure to catch me on Home Together. See ya.